Hello everybody, <coughs> this is Xtalkalurx here and today I'm bringing you a review of the latest Minecraft Pocket Edition update 0.9.0 Ok, so this was a pretty massive update, I'm going through some of my favourite features, why they're good and also a few bad ones which I have also found which probably will be fixed soon in the future Ok, so let's get right into the good points Ok, so the first great thing I found out about this new update is the new biomes so as you can see on screen right now, I've got a picture of the new, I think it's the Akenya biome mixed with an extreme hills biome. So in the river, we're all going through it. Uh, these biomes are really good, as also they contain some of the new blocks, which you can see on the picture. And if we all go on to the next one, you can see one of the other new features, which is a lava pool and one of the forests. I'm not entirely sure what this biome is called, but it's the one that's got the rather, well, very large trees and the dark wood. Now, personally, I, I like this, um, um, this this biome, personally, due to the, the amount of wood, to be honest, and just like, how easy it is to, uh, you know, just the vast amounts. It's really quite easy to find, as you can see them from a vast distance. And as you can also see, there is one of the also new features of the cave. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Okay, so the next amazing thing about this new update is the amount of blocks that they have added which aren't even in the Xbox 360 edition, which makes it even more special. So, just an example, a few of the blocks they have added Diorite, which is quite a new thing in the PC edition, and its, um, uh, what is it, polished counterpart. Then we also have Andesite, which is an also a quite new block on the PC edition. And then we also have Granite, which unfortunately I missed out on this picture, but never mind. <laughs> Okay, and the next one we have is a new type of uh, grass, which can only be obtained with the silk touch pickaxe or spade. Well, just pickaxe, actually. And this is obtained in one of the new biomes. I'm not entirely sure which one it is. Uh, I think it's the Dartwood ones or one of the uh, other savannah ones, is it? And then, uh, finally, on the fire, which isn't wasn't in this, this, uh, this edition last time, is mycelium. Also, on this, as you can see, we have all of the hardened clays and the different colour varieties which is awesome thing which these will spawn in the mess of biomes is it? I think it is ok next the sandstone one is chiselled sandstone but unfortunately you can't see that uh, we have arcania wood, we have dark wood, we have never bit which I don't think were in the last update we have emeralds which definitely weren't in the last update uh, end stone, uh, we have red redstone, red rock so I can't remember which one is it um, Red, it's red sand, sorry, red sand, what am I talking about? And then we have sponge, which I don't believe is in the last update either. We have an end portal frame, which unfortunately does not work yet, which they are working on next. And then we have two of the mush mushrooms. These are the mushroom, the big giant mushrooms that spawn, you can now create them. Then we have cobblestone walls and mossy cobblestone walls. And then the best feature of them all is customizable spawners. So basically what you do is put an actual spawner and then get a spawner egg of the creature of your choice and use it on the spawner and that will turn the spawner into the uh, whatever that creature is. So zombie, slime, cow, pig, anything. So yeah, that's another amazing feature of this update. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next one that I'm going to talk about, which I'm not going to spend a long on, is the new flatland feature. So, as you can see, flatland. <laughs> so this will be good if for all your creative ideas so, uh, for you builders out there and uh, people who want to perhaps build an adventure map or something which is good if you're building a flatland or yeah we also now we have resizable worlds this can go to old the old style infinity I do believe it is and I can't remember what the first one is classic I think so yeah there's not very much to say a lot of flatlands really, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next amazing feature I'm going to talk about is the new crafting interface. As you can see on the screen now, the one I'm showing you is the one that you have without a crafting bench. So as you can see, it shows you all the options that you can possibly have depending on the items that you have in your inventory. For example, I had wood so I can make a crafting bench and stick. I also had some sugar, some sugar cane so I could make some sugar. I also had a bit of stone so I could make some... Um, Stone, so stone cutter thing. I also have some sticks, but I don't have the coal, so I could make torches. And I have some wool, so it shows all the different walls as well. 
Now, the one, the one with the crafting bench, which is this one I'm showing you now, gives you a lot more options, such as bowls, chests, crafting bench, slabs, and everything that you can imagine. It shows you all the different options in town there as well. And personally, I think this is far better than the old interface, to be completely honest. And so, I think they've done uh, extremely well with this. I love it, and really makes me, makes me want to play the Pocket Edition a lot more. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next feature that I am showing you on screen now is the new spawn eggs. Now they have added spawn eggs for every, I think, every creature that is now in the pocket edition of Minecraft. So you have the villager, chicken, cow, pig. Uh, I think it's a wolf. One of them, I'm not entirely sure what the one at the far right is on the first row. You've got wolf, then you have got. Uh, oh, oh, I'm not entirely sure. So, oh, m yes, mushroom, sorry. Creeper, enderman, silverfish, skeleton, slime, spider, zombie, and zombie pig man. So, yeah, so you got your spawn eggs now. So, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the last fe good feature which I which I personally love and but not the least is the new cave systems. So these caves are basically spawned the same way as they are on the PC, Xbox, and PlayStation edition, and randomly all over the world in all of the different biomes, obviously except for deserts. So on these caves, you can find all normal stuff. You can find lava pools, uh, no, lo no lava streams, water streams, dead ends. Spawners, I don't think there is any sort of ravines or crevices yet as I was unable to find one So yeah, as you can see the one that you can see now is all oh, does go down for quite a bit uh, At the bottom found some diamonds and it did stretch into quite some big areas at points So the only thing I did find is there is no toggle option for these caves Which I thought they said they were going to include but obviously got shelved Okay, so now I'm going to show you some of the bad points about this update. Uh, fortunately, there are a few, so let's get into it. So the first one, as you can see, uh, is the still invisible bedrock barrier, which, uh, which surrounds the world if you are not on infinite. Now, personally, I think they should have removed this in this update. It just made it permanently infinite since they in introduced the infinite world. Perhaps this is something that some people didn't want, and perhaps they preferred the smaller worlds. But personally, I, f I personally think if they're going to do it, make the worlds a lot bigger. Because the worlds at the minute, with that barrier, are tidge. You can barely do oats in them. So I'd say increase the size, and keep, but keep the border, but change it so you, you know, do like it's on the um, Xbox edition, where it's like C, near the border for like 50 blocks, 20 blocks or so, that would be a good idea personally so yeah that's enough just you know things that I thought should have been added so let's get on to some glitches okay so the first glitch I've got to show you is what I have dubbed the chess glitch so on certain points in your game and also permanently while on creative mode you cannot use chests at all no matter what you have in your hand even if you have nothing in your hand so I was using this on the creative mode, I was going to spawn, uh, put some spawn eggs in one and then display them as a picture, but it wouldn't let me. The chest did the open and close emote, but didn't let me store anything. So I have no idea what could have caused this. I assume it's something missing in the code, and like bringing the interface up. Uh, say so it works sometimes on survival, well, most of the time on survival, but there's a very occasion where it does do it on survival. Creative is permanent. You can't use chests in creative mode anymore until the next update. <laughs> so that's the first glitch and then on to the final one. Now this final glitch can be and is quite devastating unfortunately. So this glitch is called, well, I have, I have called it the world spawning glitch. So basically when creating your world, uh, you spawn into a random place, the world is fine for a minute and then your the app crashes. But when you go, then when, that's not a problem. When you go back into the app and load up the world again, you will fall a thousand blocks to your death, and and then your phone will crash again, and the world will no longer open. Yeah, that's quite a bad one. 
Uh, now, this did happen to while I was playing survival ones. I was on survival, I was walking around, and then all of a sudden my phone froze, and the app crashed, and then I loaded my world, and I fell about the same amount of blocks to my death and lost all of my stuff. And I could not find my house again as it was on infinite, and I didn't have a bed yet, so I didn't have a lot of stuff, so I wasn't that bothered. But still, can be quite a devastating glitch if you are far into the game, and this does happen, and you haven't said the bed for some reason. Okay, so that is it really for this review of 0 0.9.0 for the Minecraft Pocket Edition. So if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to push that like button, leave a comment down below, and also subscribe. Also, make sure to follow my Twitter, Twitter, Twitter feed, which is going to be linked down below. So, last of the saying, thank you for listening and watching. I've been XDarkKillerX, and I will see you later. Goodbye!